Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today I'm going to be showing you a game called One Hour, One Life. It's a multiplayer survival game based on parenting and civilization building. It's multiplayer and you're born to another player. The last time I played it, I got the best mom ever who taught me a thing or two and really cared for me, which was bizarre. So let's get born to another player in the game and have one hour to live our life. <laughs> the hell, that guy has a race car. Oh no, I've spawned as an adult. No, I don't want to be an adult. <laughs> I want to be whatever this is. <laughs> Waiting to be born. Okay, and pop just like that. Hello, mama. You have to take care of me now. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. All I can say at the start is one letter, and then as you age up, you can say more. Oh, my name is Leon. Fantastic. <laughs> it's gonna be like, hey, I'm a little bit of a rude baby. <laughs> I don't have very uh, much etiquette. Are uh, you new? Yes, I am. Take care of me. <laughs> so I think... When you're a baby, as long as your mother is holding you, you're actually fine, you get fed, so I I'm fine once she's holding on to me, despite my person's look. <laughs> they look a little bit upset. Oh my god! What was that? That reminded me of the guy I saw when I spawned in as an adult and I just left. Well, I got eaten by a bear, actually. <clears throat> Oh, that guy just died. <laughs> I'm not really sure because I didn't see what was happening, but I feel like my mom took some of their clothes and put it on me. <laughs> so yeah, my lady, 10 meters away. What? Order from your lady, beauty fight, feast table and nursery. What does that even mean? <laughs> Am I going to be eaten? <laughs> I don't really like the way I'm looking. Uh, I don't know. They're dressing me up like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> Are they going to take me away? Can I? Oh, I can walk. Wait. Okay, I'm not allowed I'm not allowed to leave yet my mom wants to take care of me you ain't ready yet she said <laughs> okay <laughs> mom please help I was just gonna say hell <laughs> when you are three you can feed yourself okay I have a very strict parent I'm afraid but okay all right I'll go along with that that's fine can't say help yet all I can say is hell Hell, <laughs> this is how it feels. With what? <laughs> I can't say everything. I can only say three, three letters. There we go. She's picked me up again and I feel safe. Hey, no, pick me up. <laughs> oh, put me in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I just throw my bag in it. <laughs> it's clear that I just have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a troublesome child. Although I am, I'm smiling now. Little Leon is a little bit happier. That's good to see. Okay, help with what? I help you. So I, I'm going to make it seem like I'm not actually that needy. I'm just going to be be helping them. I hope you don't die like my last mom died in this game. It was really traumatic. Um, Me... I can't even say it. I'm just going to say hung... Hung... Feck! That's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say hungy. Which is almost just as bad, but uh, come on. I'm hungry. Oh, I'm being fed. This is fine. <laughs> Yay. She's just kind of leaving me by the fire and feeding me every now and again. This is my life. <laughs> I stare into the flames while my mom stares at me. Okay, I think I'm... I'm ready. What's my mom's name? Ally Betty Fight? Is that second name? Okay, I thought she wanted to fight me. I was like, but I'm three. <laughs> oh, ugly baby mom look ugly <laughs> baby they said ignore leon his eyes are funky leave me alone <laughs> all right i just look at fire that's my whole personality nah all babies are cute okay <laughs> i'm learning although i disagree let's go all right i'm still like learning this game i find it very overwhelming so i'll just try my best to help my community here <laughs> Even though I don't feel like I'm going to help, I feel like I'm going to be a net drain on the community when it comes down to it. Oh, mom, no! No, mom. Don't keep it. Don't keep I. No, don't keep it. Wait. Oh my god, I think it died. What have I done? What happened to it? Did they just disconnect? Maybe they didn't want me as a brother. That's kind of understandable, I guess. It happens, they say. It's like my mom from last time, just saying it happens, even if bad things happen. Oh my god. I, it, it couldn't be the same person, right? There's no chance. I, I mean, it must just be a coincidence, right? It's just the term it happens was basically my previous mom's catchphrase, no matter what happened. Even on her deathbed, she just felt like, eh. 
it happens and just kind of died. Did you ever have ever have a child called oh God, this is so annoying <laughs> called this word that I won't say to save this thing in your home going off. I think I have used that name a couple of times. Hmm. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> As the kids are saying. Uh, hungry. <laughs> I mean, maybe? I mean, maybe it's a common name. Maybe it is to eat the pies. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> eat that. <laughs> I need to be reminded just to actually consume something, even when I'm holding it. Thank you. I am dumb. You're just learning. That is fine. What a patient mom. Maybe everyone in this game is just super wholesome. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. I'm like, no, there can't possibly be two nice people on the internet. <laughs> it must be the same person. <laughs> Come, dear, let's find milkweed. Okay, that's probably for the best. Show. All right. Let's show me how to live and be a helpful human. I think that was the problem last time. I just thought, hey... I'll do my own thing to help, but that never works. <laughs> Wait, also need other stuff. Tell me, mom, I'll do anything for you. <laughs> Someone is somewhat nice to me on the internet and I'm just shocked. <laughs> oh, wooden shoe. Thank you, mom. <laughs> what a strange dynamic for a game. Let go. I was going to say let's go, but it sounds like I'm just telling her to let go of me and I'll move on. Should we bury this dude? No, you know what? I don't have time for this. That was my previous job, you see, the last time I played this game. I was the graveyard keeper. <laughs> it's never at the same place, is it? I No, I, I'm gonna abandon this theory that this person is the same mother because what are the odds? My mom is just like, you are full, keep it in your bag. I keep trying to eat this carrot, but I'm just so full I can't. <laughs> I'm a weird, like, awkward teen now. I'm gonna start getting awkward. Ugly old person. That's just what teens do. They they're just mean. <laughs> that is so mean. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain myself. I'm sorry. I'm angsty teen. <laughs> I'm really getting into my role, you know. Oh, more carrot. I should no. I should follow my mom. I'm getting too distracted. My person's personality type is magpie. I'm encouraging mom. She made a sign saying silo. That's awesome. I don't know what it means. I've just been born and put to work, <laughs> but uh, I'm impressed by it. That's all that matters. I'm impressed by anything mom does because I can't even understand like if I'm full or not. <laughs> so my intelligence level, you know, there's a very low bar. <laughs> what I need to impress me. Okay, mom, what's the plan? Oh, the hell was that? Oh, it was a door she was making. Ta-da! That is neat. Neat. That sounded a bit... Condescending. <laughs> I just made the door and I'm like, oh, yeah, neat. I need to finish this. Okay. What even is this? For my family members. Oh my god, I've been born into the graveyard family again. Just wanted something nice for these people. Wow, you seem nice. That is nice. Nice one. <laughs> They were good to me in past lives. Oh my god. <laughs> is everyone on this game just the most wholesome person ever? <laughs> or what is happening? You seem like a good person. Oh, well, you seem like a good person. It's a chemical. <laughs> you know, my mom asked if you could like the video, you know. I wouldn't ask for me, but for her, like, I'd, I'd just really appreciate it if you could like the video for for my mom. If you're enjoying it, uh, she'd, she'd be so proud of me. I will find you... A gift. That'll be my mission. Because I, I don't think I can give them anything of actual use. So I'm going to go with the route of it's the thought that counts. So anything that could be helpful. Like, I don't know, maybe I could kill a rabbit or something. <laughs> they wanted milkweed. Maybe I could just find milkweed. That might be a good idea. That's something basic. Ah, <sighs> milkweed. How would I even harvest it if I found it? <laughs> I may have set my bar too high. Wild squash plant. Yeah, I'm gonna need something. Oh God. I'd be so upset if I just died out here and never went home. Not because of me, but for my mom. <laughs> like what would she do without me? <laughs> just never knowing what happened. I couldn't take it. There's so much. I just want, no, that's not. What even is tes tes tea? <laughs> 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 there are so many options of pronouncing that words, and I went with the worst one. <laughs> Whoa, you can go faster on pads. This is like the highway to the to the snow biome. That's insane. 
All right, well, I'm not going to find milkweed up there. All I'm going to find is my death. I'll starve to death up there or freeze to death. All I know is my fate would end in my death if I went up that way. What? E snav pile flingling. <laughs> Maybe my mom should have taught me how to to read. Oh, there's a, a gravestone saying mother. I wonder could I take it so that, you know, I'm prepared for whatever the future may hold. I don't even want to think about mom dying. Wait, what is this? Tank of kerosene, unfueled delivery truck. What the heck is going on in this game? I thought we'd just like play with sticks or something. All right, a tank of crude oil. Maybe I can bring that back for mom. Like she'll know I didn't make it, but I think, I, I think she'll appreciate it. It's fenced off though, I gotta get in there. All right, I might have to lower my standards. I'll keep this stick as a backup that I can give to mom. And in the meantime, I'll look for anything, like even berries or anything at this point. A wild rose, that would do. Yes, pick that. I need a steel axe. Okay, I need to get home and get an axe. <laughs> and I'll come back for this, <laughs> this rose. This is my, my, I, I don't know, A, B, C, D, E, F plan, I guess, plan F. Uh, it's not the most amazing of gifts, but it's something. Like, I do have this flint chip as well as a potential backup if I run into her. Jeez, the milkweed really is rare. I see why they don't have it. Maybe that should be my life purpose. <laughs> Find milkweed. Cold goose egg. Oh my god, it's the perfect gift. All right, epic. I'm gonna bring this back to mom. <laughs> Just running with the egg. <laughs> is that mom in there? I don't know how to get in. Mom! <laughs> I mean, I love mom and all, but she kind of failed as a parent. I don't even know how to use doors. I'm an adult now and wanted to thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> Here is egg. <laughs> There's just like, of course. <laughs> I gotta stand there now and just watch the egg. Oh, let's make omelette. She's actually, oh my God, she's encouraging me. <laughs> the most pathetic of acts and mom is like, oh my God, who's the best little boy? <laughs> and is taking care of me. Maybe after she eats egg, I could ask her for axe and I could go get milkweed. Order from your lady. Beauty fight. Nursery needs firewood ASAP. Oh, her name is Beauty. I see. I thought it was saying order from your lady, comma, beauty fight. And I was thinking to myself, I should probably go. I'm a shoe in I mean, look at me. Look at those legs. <laughs> those little chopstick legs. <laughs> oh, he's been skipping leg day since he was born. Where's mom? Mom? <laughs> My guy's like, how, much, how long have I been playing this? Like 20 minutes, he's like 20 years old and I'm just at home scared because mom has left me. Well, to be fair, this place must be haunted too. There's like five graves in this room with me. I might just look around for an ax. I'll act first and ask later. I'll get the ax and then ask, can I have it? Cause then you can't make up any excuse like, oh no, we don't have one or like there's none available. Cause I'll already be holding it, you know? There's nothing they can do. I took off my shoe by accident. <laughs> I'm so clumsy with the controls. It's just clicking is everything. And I'm not sure if it's left or right click sometimes. And then I end up clicking on stuff I don't mean to with the left click while I'm just walking like that. What did I just pick up? A leaf again. <laughs> Stone hatchet. Oh, I might take that. No one seems to be using it and it's probably fine for what I want to do. Oh, there's a sealed yellow pigment bottle in there <laughs> and I really want to drink it. Help! I'm <laughs> just screaming. Help! Thank you. Oh, what's this? A glass bottle? No, I just want to eat raw meat. Thank you very much. Use this to bring fire. Okay, so I guess I got to find fire and then bring them fire to light stuff with. Okay, but how am I supposed to find fire? I'll go to this bell that was going off a while ago. There's an arrow here telling me that it's this way. So I'm just going to hope for the best. I don't think I'm going to find fire out here though. And that's the mission I was sent on. So maybe I shouldn't be going this way. <laughs> Oh, can I fit that in my bag? Damn it, I can't. I'll just leave this meat here. I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> They're totally fine with that. Wait, I, I need that board as well. Where did I put the... You know what? Die! <laughs> I attack! <laughs> I, I dropped the board somewhere and I don't even know where. Is it in my bag or... Where could I have put it? I just had it. <laughs> did I not realize I was dropping it or what happened? Okay, you know what? I'll make up for it. I'm gonna take this axe. All right, wait, I can't even put it in my bag. Okay, well then I'll take the meat again and put that in my bag and then just carry the axe. Hope for the best, I guess. I, I can tr still try and find that milkweed, even though that's not what she was looking for. <laughs> 
Oh, could I take this wolf back? I <laughs> just bring in disease that kills the entire colony. Oh, someone's been out here. Wait, you can cut a tree down that fast? Oh my god, I'm amazing. I probably should stop before I die. Hello, penguin. I... <laughs> I think I upset the penguin. <laughs> if not, it kills the penguin. I'll bring my axe back, eat something, because I don't want to starve. And then, what is this? I could just, oh God, it's a bear. That's what it is. No, I don't want to die to a bear again. I'm out of here. Oh, mom's going to be so disappointed when she hears the news. I'm only three. Oh my God, I, I, I have three hunger slots. I'm going to die if I don't get food. It's this bowl of flour. No, I, I shouldn't try and fend for myself. Now is not the time to be independent. Mom, help. About to starve. <laughs> oh my god, this ugly naked person. Please, try and ignore the ugly naked person. Me starving. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's well deserved. I think they're still talking to someone else, but I'm gonna take that as, as mine. They're like, wow, you're such a, a hard worker for the colony. You, you deserve this. Do you know about yum? What is yum? <laughs> Or do they just mean like, mmm, yummy, eat more, because you're gonna kill yourself. Okay, when you eat, there must be some system here. Oh. Uh, rip. Anyway, <laughs> you were saying... <laughs> the dead body just still under us. You need to eat different foods. Then you get a yum bonus. I need more variety then. Okay. Thank you. I can show you in the kitchen. All right. Excellent. So there's like, oh my god, there's carved turkey here. There's loads of goose eggs. My mom was definitely just, just, just encouraging me, I guess, even though I did not help at all. I put the axe down, they said to me. I'm used to getting that told to me <laughs> in many games. <laughs> Sir, put the axe down. <laughs> Wait, why can I not eat this one then? Oh, this is a bowl of butter. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> I mean, I'd eat it. If I was hungry, I'd eat a bowl of butter. You know, I have been known to down a butter stick or two. Take the plate. This plate? Oh, and then you take, like, a slice of bread. No, that's not how you do it at all. All right, I need to stop and just listen for once in my life. Then click on turkey. Okay. He's just... He's just taking it all. <laughs> do I... Oh, you left click. Oh, my God. How is it a two-button game and it's this confusing? <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm so full of knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. Now you can see that when you hold it. Ah, I don't know what you mean, but thank you. Um, I guess I could put down some of the... Oh, no. <laughs> Everything can take one slot. Okay. I can put down some of the meat because this is for the family. I've gathered these. I'll put this as the meat path. <laughs> this is where we store our, our meat that we don't want inside. Great job, Kevin. <laughs> Everything you have eaten will be met. Oh, so you need to eat new stuff every time? That's quite tough going, to be honest. I'd like a, a plate of something nutritious. What's this? Turkey slice on plate. Yeah, that's going in the bag. I got a whole lunch here. Wait, it's not fitting. I'll just carry it around. <laughs> it's like, oh, be careful. There are bears out there and I'm walking around with a turkey slice in the open. <laughs> it will either say meh or yum. Yum gives you a bonus. Okay, so it says meh here. So craving bunch of grapes and has the meh. Why does it have the meh symbol up there? Is that just because of what I'm holding? I don't know. I'm gonna go visit mom. They can't have gone too far. Well, I hope they haven't died like off screen or anything. Where is mom? <laughs> I can't even find my own mom. I need help with everything. They just helped me feed myself and then I came back like, where mom? Dead? No! <laughs> Not dead! <laughs> Liar! No, it can't be dead, surely. Where? That can't be the case. I wanted to show her how cool I look now. Yard. The kid. <laughs> yeah. The kid's just like, oh yeah, mom's dead. She's in the yard. Show me, please. There's no way she's just out in the yard. We can't have that. I'm going to bury her with respect if that's the case. Your second cousin, great grandmother. Not here. Oh. Oh my god. Here, mom. Hold on to this. I'm going to get a shovel and I'm going to bury you. It's fine. It I'll get a shovel.
I know there's one over here somewhere. Rather than trying to figure out how to craft one, it's probably actually faster. I just wander off into the wilderness and hope I find it. I think I can retrace my steps pretty easily because I tend to go in like straight lines. <laughs> this might have been bad. I'll just look around and find one at the base. I'll, I'll steal one from someone who's not using it. Like, what are they going to do? Get angry at me for burying my mom? You can't do it. The big question I have... No, stop picking up stuff. The big question I have about this is like, for someone like that who's engaged in this colony, and help build it out. Like, if you die at the end of it, what are the odds of you coming back in the same colony? Surely you'd want to, like, continue on that, but maybe that's just not the spirit of the game. You just help where you're needed, and that's that. Mine ain't pick. That's not what we need. I'm no longer a miner. I am a man, and I want to bury mom. Another pick. Thing is, if I needed a pickaxe, I wouldn't be able to find it. It just wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh, they got a little highway here to the... The danger zone. I don't think I want to go this way. <laughs> There's just a few corpses in the snow. I don't I don't like the look of it. I don't fancy my chances down that way. This sign just says forgive. I hope they're talking about me. Just forgive me. Because <laughs> I think I've caused uh, a lot of hassle that I've not intended to. Not anything major. Just like things. Someone's going to go looking for something and it'll be moved to another room for absolutely no reason. Oh my god. This is the sheep pen. <laughs> Needs to be some burying here as well, I think. I was told that a shovel would be around here. Have I opened all the gates? No, they're going to be fine. Trust me, everything is going to be fine. This is like a Where's Waldo or some sort of visual puzzle. It's all just the same object and I can't find the one I'm looking for. Wait, what is this? This, a witch mask. Oh my god, that would suit my guy so much. <laughs> Can I take off? Oh, I don't want to take off my hat. That's what mom gave me. <laughs> oh, my guy looks like he's getting older now. I gotta hurry. I gotta bury mom. <laughs> but I just can't find the shovel anywhere. Maybe I can just take her body somewhere nice. <laughs> I think she'd appreciate that. Aha! I found a shovel. <laughs> now I hope I can find my mom after all this. <laughs> well, I was there a while ago. Okay, sheep pen. I know where this is, roughly. I think I should be good from here. <laughs> so hard to find your way around their entire settlement. Okay, I need to get through here. Oh, there's a shovel just right there. Of course there is. Well, you know what? That's handy because I've lost my other one anyway. I put it down somewhere and I don't know where. <laughs> this seems to happen to me in this game a lot. Wait, someone else did it. Your mother died 19 years ago. I mean, it's a fair point. Yeah, I, I just read the text that popped up and um, yeah, that's fair that someone else did it after nine, 19 years. That's okay. It took me 19 years to find a shovel. <laughs> I tried to stop you. Oh, there was no stopping me. But you run fast. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's the only compliment I've gotten this entire time. Oh. I will. Oh. Bury the child. <laughs> right. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to leave the shovel there. So at least people don't have to go through the same struggle I went through. See these big rocks. <laughs> I just pick up the rock. Got it. <laughs> Gotta try and bring it home as this massive rock. They're like, no, wait. I'm doing my part. I'm just gonna drop this off inside the graveyard and I need food urgently. Oh my god, what the hell? She was just holding the dead child when I came back. I'm starving. The RB. <laughs> I'm never like able to help. There's always some reason I'm doing something else or I'm starving or I'm just confused. <laughs> it can't be too far. I know, I know, I'm starving. Help! <laughs> Oh, I think they just stuffed some food in my mouth. Thanks. That was close. <laughs> oh, a baby. You run too fast. They're complaining again. Oh my god. The amount of children that just disconnect. Maybe they want to spawn as a... It looks like she's talking to the child that died saying go to the kitchen. I wonder if they're trying to spawn as an adult though. And they don't want to spend their life as a, as a baby. See you soon. Even if the mom dies, I find another temporary mom to take care of me. And luckily, I think this mom is younger than me, so I'll always have, like, this legal guardian now until I die. <laughs> I imagine I'll either die of old age or uh, a hunger well before she goes. Oh, an omelette. There's no way that's the omelette that, that my mom was making, right? Is it? I don't know. I should leave it on her grave to remember her by, though. There. 
Omelet, yes. <laughs> Just standing on the grave going, Omelet, hee hee hee. And then I run off crying. Oh, another mask. This one's a goblin mask. This would suit me. Yeah. Oh my god, that suits my personality perfectly. Right, I gotta get- stop getting distracted and get to the kitchen. I gotta get pie. Is this the kitchen? No, this is the sheep shed once again. I'll find my way around eventually. Just not in this life. <laughs> I look like a serial killer just running around the farm. <laughs> I'm starting to look a little bit decrepit now as well, so I'm I'm a little bit concerned. Hello, good day, question mark. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, it's not a good day. I've broken my phone. <laughs> How about you? I don't know what they asked me because I was looking for my phone. Um, I do find it concerning, but we must continue onwards. <laughs> yeah, making. Conversation. It's like talking to an AI, but the AI is from 2004. Wait, I just thought of something. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, <laughs> she just came in and I'm wearing this creepy goblin mask attacking graves. I can explain. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't think I'm dying. <laughs> well, at least I can bury you then. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> at this rate, I think I'm burying you. <laughs> Probably realistically. <laughs> Drop the shovel. Why am I in this situation again where someone's like, drop the item? <laughs> okay, and now I write on it. I will engrave it later. Okay, can you make it say best mom ever? <laughs> or maybe like tied for best because like the last mom is really good too as well. Sorry, it's very limited. Okay, best mom, <laughs> but can write her a note. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna make a note before I die. At least I hope anyway. <laughs> My guy is like 60 years old and his entire goal in life is just to remember his mom. That's it. The like good five minutes we had together. Uh, did you notice as well that this person is riding a horse around and there's this old ancient man like having to run after them? <laughs> oh, these are all notes. Oh, blank paper. I just threw one of the other notes. <laughs> Oh, how to write, question mark, and that's what I wrote down. <laughs> that's my note. <laughs> you just did it. Excellent. <laughs> to the best mom ever. You tried, but you... Died. <laughs> I was about to say... You tried, but the odds were stacked against you or similar like that. But, um, I died of starvation as I wrote it. I probably should have brought a meal with me. In fact, I think, yeah, I had berries in my bag and I starved to death. It kind of makes sense. Like even mom saw from day one that I didn't know if I was hungry or not. I just start mashing food into my mouth as much as I could. And if I, my body could take it, I would eat it. If not, it would just be mashed there. <laughs> I must say, an amazing life, an amazing mom once again. I, I still have suspicions, you know, I have a conspiracy theory. That is the same mom as last time. I do love that I died with berries in my bag and just starved to death <laughs> while trying to write a note to my dead mom. <laughs> I failed her at every turn, but she still loved me and that's all that matters. But that is enough for one day. Thank you so much for watching. Check out more of my content here and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.